Hi guys and welcome back to We Film Things. Jack and I are reunited. We have just driven down from Manchester to Cornwall. It's like a five and a half hour drive. It's our first holiday since coronavirus happened and it's our first holiday alone together this year. We're down here in a glamping site. As you can see behind me, there's our tent. We're here for like three days for my birthday. Oh yeah, we've gone to the beach. <laughs> a classic seen some sea swans who even knew that was a thing and now we're just gonna enjoy the tent go to a pub enjoy cornwall seaside life come and check our tent out so this is our tent we have our identifying flags and come on in take a look ta-da we've got our bed we have some resting areas we have some tea champagne storage unit <laughs> there isn't any electricity or anything it's nice and simple like camping but for people who like us who don't want to drag tents around slash me i'm very excited we normally do about four or five trips to cornwall a year and obviously because 2020 is a bit poo we haven't been down here at all so actually this is our first time by the seaside this year so I'm excited we're staying at a place called Mina Farm. Mana. Mana? Mana. <laughs> it's not Manor. Is he? Mena. Mena Farm. Man. It's like right bang in the middle of Cornwall between the coasts. So you can kind of drive to either coast or you can get on your bikes and cycle trails from here, which is what we plan to do tomorrow. Sadly, it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days, of course, being our luck and it being England, but I don't even mind. It's just so nice being outdoors. Also guys, check out this sunset view. Pretty good, isn't it? What'd you say? Good sunset. Good sunset. All right, let's go. Let's go to the pub. We go and do the let's pub. Let's get ourselves a glass of St. Amstel's. Amstel's? What's it called? The Cornish Lager Late Ale. St. Austell. That's what Jack was talking about before. That wasn't too far wrong. Hmm. Right now I wish we had smell of vision because there's some honeysuckle here. It's literally like walking into a perfume shop. Look how many blackberries there are. They look so big and juicy and delicious. One of the things I love about Devon and Cornwall is the abundance of sunken lanes. Literally paths that have either sunk or been built to be lower than the surrounding fields. They feel ancient and there's something magical about being enveloped in a tree tunnel. They don't really smell. They don't? We walked to the nearest local establishment for the obligatory pub dinner and pint to kick off the holiday. Got an abundance of onion rings because... Do you not realise? I don't need the menu. <laughs> this would have been fine for me. With a slightly merry and romantic walk back to our campsite, lit by the almost full moon. We woke up the next day to the sound of birds and the canvas of our tent blowing in the breeze. There's a lovely little coffee van that comes to the farm in the mornings to help you start your day. I didn't know it yet, but this was D-Day, so Jack really needed that coffee. Good morning. <laughs> We've woken up in our campsite, we're just driving out of it now. But we're off on a cycle, hopefully, if we can rent a bike for me, because Jack's got his one with him. Haven't been on a bike in a really long time, so we're doing like a really easy route. We started at the Snail's Pace Cafe for breakfast and to rent my bike. I've chosen this cafe by name for Alishka. For me, because I move at the pace of a snail and I think... How many times did you have to leave the tent today? Only twice. Anyway, it's basically a little off-grid cafe on the camel trail, which is what we're going to be cycling today. And the camel trail is just a very easy bike path for the likes of me. Very flat, scenic. It goes easy. from Bodmin to Padstow on the coast and the national lobster hatchery. <laughs> we have ourselves a delicious loaded toast with avo and halloumi and a bacon sandwich. Like a bike. Nice. And so after a minor technical hitch, what happened? High pressure valves, rubbish, air pump. All fine now. Okay. We were on our way. Me pedaling along on my glorified golf cart, clueless. It's like a sofa on wheels. <laughs> and Jack steaming ahead on his gravel bike. I'm going to 
propose to Alishka on this bike ride. And she has no idea. The ring is in my bag. It's really quite scary. Don't know how to describe it. Big anxiety feeling. You gotta like choose the right spot. And you gotta choose the right way to do it. Ideally it won't be raining. It's going a bit grey. Can I have a go on it? Yeah, my hand is so far as well. Look at this. I'm going to have a go on Alishka's stroller. I don't think it's a bike. <laughs> How do you control it? <laughs> this is incredible. I could ride forever on this bike. It's so comfy. This is impossible to go fast on. I know. I'm just like pedaling. It's actually easier to lean back as well. Whereas this baby gravel bike in it to win it. This is the Camel River, after which the Camel Trail takes its name. True that, lady. True that. Welcome to the Camel Trail. Mm. The trail follows the Camel River along a disused railway with the old stations and platforms still in place. Oh God, he's going for it. He's at the train stop. There are also plenty of places to stop along the trail, cafes for cream tea in orchard settings, and even a vineyard. But although it's a flat and easy ride, it's still a 60 km round trip from the Snail's Pace Cafe to the coast, so we had a long way to go. These are my last days of not being in a formal, legally binding relationship. Exciting though, right? Here she is. I'm not doing it yet, this isn't the right spot. Hello. Just searching for a spot. Which is the right one though? Gosh, it's killing me. I get all these crazy thoughts, like, what if I jump in the river and I come out with a ring? And you know that's stupid. It's quite anxiety inducing, this whole process. I haven't told you about the ring yet. That took maybe about 10 weeks to get anywhere near to me. So I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. And I decided to choose this trip because it's Cornwall. And we both love Cornwall. Well, she's just been away for three weeks, so feels like okay. I don't know, I just know how much I love her. And I feel like doing it on a bike trip would be really cool because it's something that I know what she's doing for me. I love biking. Now let's just just bought a bike. She's hired one for today. So it's an activity we can do together. And it feels super nice. What are you doing down there? <laughs> <Down there. laughs> it looks like there's no way down. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way, guys. How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. I thought maybe there would be some really nice cliffs and padstow, or near padstow that we could do it. Because we set out late as usual, now that we're worried about the time and weather, I really wanted to get the drone up so that you can do it on like an automatic setting whereby it flies around you automatically. But now I'm feeling like that's just an extra bit of hassle. I just want to do it properly. I will get it on the GoPro though. And then we'll have that moment forever. It feels very weird filming all this by the way. I don't know if this is going to make it into a video, a public video or anything. But I thought I should record my thoughts before making this big, big, big step. And yes, it's been a long time coming. Still feels like a big step. Real life commitment. I've never made one of those before. Yeah, it's exciting, right? The other thing is I can't wait to do it, which is why you know it's a good decision. I've just been waiting for so long now for everything to come together and this is the holiday where it does. So, yeah. 
And whilst Jack was desperate to get to the coast, I was happily plodding along, stopping for pictures. Time for a picture? Waving at passers-by and getting ice cream. Alishka's getting an ice cream of her favourite variety, which really even is. Will that put you in a good mood? I'm already in a good mood. Great, yes. will it put you in an even better mood? Yeah, it will. Trillivans is the best ice cream in the world. There she goes. This is a cafe, and that is the ice cream. Best ice cream ever. The rain's caught up with us. We're putting the camera away, putting the rain jackets on, and sloshing on through on our bikes. Guys, we're approaching the last leg to Padster. And Eliska is a beacon for all lost cyclists. She's so slow. Yeah. We made it to Padster. We have. It's packed though. Bustling. It is bustling. Bustling and bustling. Have a look, see where we're at. Look how post up here. Okay. Oh yeah. There's a pretty big sea squall. I've used the term squall. Yeah. Coming in. There's a squall coming in and the rain's getting heavier. Just perfect really. You can't mind the rain, do you? I'm well prepared. You kind of like the rain, in fact. Is that right? I love the rain. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> what about we head to that beach there? Okay. This is funny, there's a squall. Remember one of our first dates we went to the beach in the winter? Yeah. That was our first proper real date, wasn't it? It was our first, second, first date. We like the beach in abnormal weather. You don't have your hood on. I didn't need it on. You know when you care about the rain, there's only like a real small window when you care about it. Yeah, and then you get wet and yeah, it's actually it's quite nice. Like, oh, well, it doesn't make a difference now. As long as you're not freezing. Yeah. Get it. How was the ring? She's my fiance now. <laughs> How's it feel? You engaged now? He's so cute. I'm engaged now. He's so cute. This man now taken. He has always taken <laughs> for the past nine years, actually. Legally taken. How's it going? I'm recovering from the stress. <laughs> Jack is recovering because in a slightly unexpected turn of events, for me... I kind of knew what was happening. Jack knew what was happening, we just got engaged! And the storm's blown over now. Yeah, literally the minute you asked me, it stopped raining. <laughs> I asked Lushka's mum in January. I was looking for rings in January and February. And then we went skiing and Covid hit. <laughs> and we got a house. And then I got a ring from America and it took like 12 weeks to get because you had to make it. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. It's so pretty. It's just what I want. Thank you. Aww, look at him. No, it fits perfectly. See? The people watching this will know about all the anxiety because I've already told them about it. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> On the bike ride. <laughs> Is that why you pooed off? Yeah. And that's when you got annoyed at me. I <laughs> it's incredibly stressful, Lushka. But why? Very stressful. Um, because it has to work out right. If I want it to be a nice thing, you remember forever. In a nice way. It's a nice thing that I'll remember forever. I have to go back now. Okay. Because we got a pizza party. <laughs> a little champagne to drink. <laughs> 
We just stay fiance each other. Sounds nice. Yeah, it does sound nice, doesn't it? <sighs> Thanks for waiting, guys. <laughs> Let's go and enjoy Beyonce life. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, so much food. You got your marks? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> marks. Food. And then we've got our GBs. GBs. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. They were good. We celebrated with some wood fired pizza at Scott and Babs. We forded a river on our way home. What? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. No, car's not intended for this. <laughs> Before cracking open a bottle of champagne from Jack's grandparents back in our tent. Fiance like Beyonce. Right, guys, that is the end to a very exciting day, isn't it? Big day. Big day. <laughs> Jack's highlight of the day is driving through that Ford. It was pretty good. My highlight was getting engaged, but there we go. <laughs> Priorities. That was pretty good. Which bit? The Ford. All right, okay. <laughs> we have one more full day. Tomorrow's my birthday, actually. Oh, yeah. So. Another big day. Another big day. Whoa. Can't handle it anymore. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Remember, guys. Beyonce like Beyonce. Beyonce like Beyonce. We spent my birthday surfing in one of our favorite spots, Watergate Bay. <laughs> Enjoying good food and sharing our news with our loved ones. Let's go, it's your beep birthday. Okay. This cork has popped out of your Rick Stein birthday wine. <laughs> You make a wish, I'll burn it in the fire. Mm, okay. You ready? Mm hmm. You think you have something? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you must have been cool. Let's play cool. Cheers. Oh, oh my god. It's birthday look, it must be. He's crying me. Stein, one, pump it up. Oliska has Stein, one, one cup. A game of Swedish King. Rick Stein, birthday wine. Rick Stein, fancy wine. Cheers. Cheers. Very nice. Nice wine. Rick. Nice work, Rick. Happy birthday, dear Alicia. No, it's too loud again. Happy birthday, dear Beyonce. Yes! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. What about the candle? <gasps> This is exactly the same as when I asked you to marry me and you said, say it again. <laughs> Jack says he asked me to marry him, but he just kind of knelt down on one knee and expected me to fill in the blanks. I was like, no, what are you asking me? I asked you. <laughs> I asked you. I was like, you got to ask the question to get the answer. How many have we got left? Not that many. Where's my knee? Our short but eventful trip was now drawing to a close and we slowly hit the road back up north. We're just at Strong Adolfo's in Hawksfield, which is like a little roadside stop it's like a, area. I don't, I don't know how you It's like a shopping this. center on the A road. And on the stop, there's a place called Hawksfield, which if you like your eco, your vintage, your motorbikes, your handmade hats, good coffee. It's basically hipster paradise. We love it. Just done a little shop in the Finister. True to form, Jack has literally just bought everything in the same shade of blue. <laughs> <laughs> Very on brand for you, though. Very on brand. Thank you. Got to stay on brand. We do a really nice breakfast. Super nice shops along here. And Very surfery. Very surfery, very Cornwall. It is, just love Cornwall, man. We love, we love a bit of Cornwall, don't we? That's why we got engaged here. Don't know if you know. <laughs> but we made sure to get our last dose of the beautiful seaside and seafood. Saw some oysters. That's the oyster shark. You going for it? Thoughts? You're happy with it? Really delicious, actually. I have some crab. Jack has some fish fingers. they still fingers. alive when you eat them. This is probably the best fish finger sandwich I've ever seen. Yeah, it looks amazing. We finished up our trip at the Glorious Oyster, which is a delicious, sustainable little oyster seafood shack near a place called Westwood Ho, which is the only town in the UK, maybe even the world, which has an exclamation mark in its name. There you go, a little um, 
a little treat for you. But we're now going home, it's the end of the trip. And what oh, an eventful, what, three days it's been. It feels like much longer. I guess a lot has happened. Yeah, heading home now. Catch you later, guys.